Hi, everybody. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland, and we want to welcome you to this edition of How We Roll. And we want to introduce you to our new road trek, the CS Adventurous XL. Well, uh, Ty's in the picture. Ty, hi, Ty, say hi to everybody. Hi, baby. Ty's wondering what's on this new thing. There's like a red nose there. And up over here, there's a, an antler. Who did that? <laughs> Don't look at me. It must have been Ty. It must Ty, have been you, you Ty. Ty. Did you do that, baby? Um, we want to take you in time. We'll show you what it's like and uh, give you an idea of why we're so excited. But uh, we picked it up at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And uh, we were rolling the recorder as we got the keys. Here, it here it is, your new road track, the CS uh, Adventurous XL. A new color. Um, can't wait to see you and listen to your blog and we can imagine you're going up and down the mountains and through the different trails and here are the keys uh, and here's your new packet with all the goodies inside of it and the manuals. Ready to go. Uh, Mike, Jennifer and Ty. <laughs> we thank you again. Ty. Hey, Ty, you get to go in first. <laughs> <laughs> So this is our CS Adventurous XL. XL because it is 18 inches added on the back. That gives us a total length of 24.5 feet. All right, first of all, I want to welcome you to the interior. You'll notice how stylish it is. I love this interior. Very, very attractive. Nice and long, nice and big. One of the big changes, first thing you'll notice is this refrigerator, seven cubic feet. Lots of room. We can take lots of food with us. This is great. The freezer, I like it. It's large. We can take enough food for a week. The microwave, convection oven, up high, can read the panels, the directions, easy to set. Moving over, we have our instant hot water. We have our sink, nice and handy. I like the windows, the light. We have our propane burners, two burners, easy to start, easy to work. We have lots of storage in the CS. Three shelves here, three drawers. Starting at the bottom, working our way up, room for those pots and pans, towels, things that we need. Moving over, we have more storage, pantry area, four shelves that we will fill. Everywhere you look, storage, shelves, they've used this space well and store lots of things here. Working our way right around this circle. Now remember, this is the XL, and this is where this XL comes. We have extra length. We have a lot of storage back here. And another feature that we like is we have a cabinet that drops down that we're using for bedding. We've got some pillows and some pads stuck in there. Out of sight, out of mind. We'll just stick her back up. And we have some storage there that nobody sees. Now before Mike tells you about what he likes about this and what he's added to it, Mike, make sure you tell them about my favorite part. Jennifer's talking about the heated floors. This thing has heated floors. Not only that, but it also has heat in the bathroom. That is really nice, especially on cold mornings or when we're doing some winter camping, which is stuff that we like to do a whole lot. I'll show you the system. This is the Aldi Radiant Heat System. It heats uh, through uh, water. Now it's winter time right now, so we've got the water turned off, but here's the control panel over here. It is really a nice thing. You can run electric if you're plugged into shore power or if you're using uh, whatever uh, battery power you have. You set the temperature, either electric or gas as I'm using right now, and um, it will give you the exact time. Right now the temperature in this vehicle is 70 degrees and it's a real nice heat. It's a radiant heat. It's not uh, one of those forced air dry heats. I've added a couple of modifications to this thing. Let me just show you what I did. Up here, I put a uh, temperature and a refrigerator temperature in here. There's two thermometers in the uh, freezer and in the refrigerator itself, sort of to give me a running notice of how well and how cool our food is. I've also put in a, a really nice little clock that is on the wall so we can always see what the time is. Now one of the modifications that I've done already is uh, with Hank at American RV, we've added two 12 volt power 
plugs. Uh, why that? Well, uh, as you know, I use the uh, Verizon MiFi card to give me uh, special Wi-Fi access. This is a cell phone uh, MiFi card. It basically uses a cell phone signal and creates a, a, a wireless network in the coach for me. But um, sometimes you're in an area where it's really hard to get power. So I use those plugs to power right on the side here, uh, my Wilson Sleek cell phone adapter. This is uh, uh, This will work with a cell phone, but I just put the... MiFi card in there like that, and it uh, boosts the signal. I can go from zero bars to three bars. This thing really works well. Up on the roof, I've also put in a special uh, external antenna, and we've draped it down the vehicle, and uh, it works really good that way. A couple more things we got to do. We got to figure out some shelving for our computers. I put on the back of one of our seats here uh, just a little. Uh, little thing that slips over a seat covers. I got that at an auto supply store and we could put a couple of laptops in there, an iPad, some chargers, uh, some of the little things like that. And I've gone around and I've started to put hooks up. This will be for like a sweatshirt, stuff like that. But uh, meantime, um, we're just getting used to it. We've got to figure out and put all of our gear in this vehicle and make it, uh, make it uniquely ours. Here's some other facts. It has a towing capacity of 7,000 pounds. That means you could haul a small car, a travel trailer, or a boat. Its fresh water capacity is 33 gallons. Its black holding tank capacity is 10 gallons. The gray holding tank capacity is 21 gallons. The sofa in the back makes into a rear king-size bed that is 69 by 78 inches. Or you can configure it as two twin beds with an aisle in the middle. So that's it. We just can't wait to load it up and hit the road. We are really excited about this. we got to kind of make it all our own, and we're uh, doing a lot of road trek bonding until we hit the road, which is just in a couple of days. With a special edition of How We Roll, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland and Ty. Thanks for watching.